Advanced English at the Restaurant, Real Life Scenarios and Tips. Questions and Answers, at the Restaurant C1 Level. Where is the waiter? The waiter is taking orders at the adjacent table. What dish did Paul order for the main course? Paul ordered the grilled salmon with a side of asparagus. How did Nancy find the taste of her soup? Nancy thought her soup was delightfully savory and perfectly seasoned. Did they make a reservation beforehand? Yes, they made a reservation two days in advance. What time did they arrive at the restaurant? They arrived at the restaurant at 7 p.m. sharp. How did they find the ambience of the restaurant? They found the ambience cozy and sophisticated with a touch of elegance. What kind of wine did they choose to accompany their meal? They chose a bottle of Italian Chianti to complement their meal. Was there a vegetarian option available for the main course? Yes, there was a delicious vegetarian lasagna available as a main course option. How was the dessert presented to them? The dessert was beautifully presented with intricate garnishes and a drizzle of chocolate sauce. Did the waiter recommend any particular dishes? Yes, the waiter recommended the chef's special, which was a herb-crusted lamb. How did Paul describe the service at the restaurant? Paul described the service as exceptionally attentive and courteous. What was Nancy's feedback on the portion sizes? Nancy felt that the portion sizes were generous and satisfying. Did they ask for any modifications to their meals? Yes, Paul requested his salmon to be cooked without any butter. How did they settle the bill? They settled the bill using Nancy's credit card. What was the most memorable part of their dining experience? The most memorable part was the live piano performance that added to the elegant atmosphere. How did Nancy react to the restaurant's decor? Nancy was impressed by the tasteful decor and the soft lighting. What did they decide to tip the waiter? They decided to tip the waiter 20% of the total bill for the excellent service. How did Paul find the parking situation at the restaurant? Paul found the parking convenient with ample space right in front of the restaurant. Did they order any appetizers? Yes, they ordered a plate of bruschetta and a Caesar salad as appetizers. How did they make the reservation? They made the reservation online through the restaurant's website. Essential English, now or later questions and answers. Do you want tea now or later? I want tea now. When will Michael study, now or later? Michael will study later. Is Barbara going to the store now? No, Barbara is going later. Can we watch a movie now? No, let's watch it later. Are they leaving now or later? They are leaving now. Will you help me now? I will help you later. When should I call you, now or later? Call me now. Is Michael eating his lunch now? No, he is eating it later. Can Barbara visit us now? No, she can visit later. When do you want to start the project, now or later? Let's start it now. Are they playing outside now? No, they will play later. Will you do your homework now? I will do it later. Can I borrow the book now or later? You can borrow it now. Is it better to travel now? No, it's better to travel later. Are they going to the park now? Yes, they are going now. 
Should I pay now or later? You should pay now. Can Michael fix the car now? No, Michael will fix it later. Is Barbara cooking dinner now? No, she will cook it later. Can we discuss it now? No, let's discuss it later. Are you reading the book now or later? I'm reading it now. Will you go shopping now? I'll go shopping later. Is it raining now or will it rain later? It will rain later. Can I see the doctor now? No, you can see him later. Are you tired now or will you be tired later? I am tired now. Should I turn off the TV now? Yes, turn it off now. Is Michael sleeping now? No, he will sleep later. Can Barbara meet us now? No, she will meet us later. Do you want to eat now? No, I want to eat later. Is it a good time to call Michael now? Yes, you can call him now. Are they buying the tickets now or later? They are buying them now. Explore World Festivals A Conversation on Tradition in Celebration. Hello, Isabella. I was just curious. What traditional festivals do you celebrate in your country? Hi, William. Well, in my country, we have a variety of traditional festivals. One of the biggest is the Spring Festival. It's a time for family gatherings and enjoying traditional foods. What about you? That sounds wonderful, Isabella. Here, we celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a time when families come together to give thanks for what they have, and of course, to enjoy a big feast. Oh, Thanksgiving sounds like a beautiful holiday. What kinds of foods do you typically have at your feast? The centerpiece is usually a turkey, and it's surrounded by dishes like stuffing, cranberry sauce, and various pies. It's really quite delicious. How about the foods during your spring festival? During the spring festival, we often have dumplings, which symbolize prosperity. There are also lots of sweets and pastries, which vary by region. It's a feast of flavors. That's fascinating. It's interesting how food plays such an integral role in celebrations. Do you have any particular traditions that accompany the festival? Yes, we do. Fireworks and dragon dances are significant parts of the festival. They are meant to drive away bad spirits and bring good luck for the coming year. Any special traditions during Thanksgiving? Aside from the meal, we often watch football games together, and many people participate in what's called a turkey trot, a fun run in the morning to prep for the big meal. That sounds fun and healthy before a big meal. I think it's great how festivals can bring people together in such meaningful ways. Absolutely, Isabella. It's these traditions that create lasting memories and bond us to our culture and each other. Do you think these festivals change over time? Definitely, William. While the core of our festivals remains the same, the way we celebrate can evolve, influenced by modern life and technology. How do you see your traditions evolving? I think it's similar here. The essence stays the same, but each generation brings its own spin to how the traditions are observed. It's a beautiful blend of past and present. It sure is. I'd love to experience a Thanksgiving one day, just as I hope you could experience the Spring Festival. That would be fantastic, Isabella. Experiencing each other's cultures firsthand would be truly enriching. Thanks for sharing this with me. Thank you, William. It's always a pleasure to share and learn about different cultures and traditions. Have a great day. You too, Isabella. Take care.